Hello there, everybody. Seiko Starcraft here, bringing you a TVP. We've got a parenty yo yo. Eh, don't mind the name. And Dipstick down here in the bottom left. Part of the Seiko clan. Opening it up. Speed it up slightly at the beginning here. A little bit of a longer replay. And, uh, and Dipstick's been telling me a lot about his improving TVP game. So I'm kind of excited to watch it. He actually plans out builds, does some research, and. It's actually gotten really good. Whereas I just wing essentially every game I play. Um, and that or play mech and then just wait for me to starve everybody else out. Because I got that strategy down packed. But in this one here, he said he's got some really unique strategies he wants to get over with. Just the supply depot in front to be able to scout if anything comes in. Fairly common these days. Gas right after barracks. Likely to get that reaper start. Probe is moving out. Normal timing. And it will be a gateway first on this side. Probably going to be a cybernetics core expand just because it's a pretty safe thing to do. This is platinum legal ladder. So the best of the worst, as I like to say, back in my days on platinum. So we should be seeing that orbital go down, that reaper move out across the map pretty quick. Unless he's not doing reaper. Yes, he is. So I was to say, that blow my mind if he was just dealing. Sometimes you see that now. They just skip that, get out a couple marines, and then just go straight into factory. As a Protoss, it's important you check that. Uh, because if a Marine comes out and not... Oh! Yeah, see, I generally don't usually worry about that. That pylon was just to be a jerk. And it didn't really cost anything, so it was scouted. Command Center was put down in the main, though. Just to make sure. Sometimes if you see really weird, awkward things like that, it's just safe as a Terran to get that down here. The Reaper will let him know where he's at, and that's essentially that... The Protoss didn't even take gas yet, so he can't even start his warp gate. Pretty sure these guys are both Platinum League. Whatever I say. He's getting himself out a ton of minerals instead. But he's going to have absolutely nothing to deal with his Reaper. You can't open Gasless against Terran in this day and age. It just, uh, just doesn't work that way. So he's finally taking his gases now. But it's going to be ages before Stalker and Mothership Core get out shooting at the gas which is smart actually I mean you don't always get perfect shots but sometimes if you screw somebody up from their gas what they will do is they will forget to retake that gas two kills already three no this is the most successful reaper I think I've ever seen stalker is on the way but there's no warp gate yet this is beautiful no 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 kill the probes Gets one. Is he going to get out of there? Uh, he should have killed another probe or two. Gets shut down, but that was five probes in the early game? Fantastic. Three racks follow up. Orbital started. Yeah, the Nexus is down, but if we even look at the units, Terran's only behind by a couple, and when you're spending all of your Chrono Boost on probes, fairly unacceptable. But everybody can forget about gas. He will learn and do better next time. Warp Gate is now started. And this is where I generally, if you did that kind of damage, throw down your bunker your command center and maybe even get a third command center just if it depends if you like to play macro games I'm getting more comfortable playing a macro game otherwise yeah maybe get up a huge army because the tech is delayed you killed a bunch of the economy but he's still got this nexus that he's gonna want to make use out of so unless he goes for the weirdest nexus first into four gate uh, you're generally gonna be in a good spot so there's the bunker marines on the way marines are rallied to the minerals down here which is good, it's going to keep him alive against Oracles. He didn't see the tech with the Reaper, so therefore he doesn't know if it's Stargate. It is in fact a Robo, but you got to be safe. At least until that Engineering Bay goes down. And this is the way a lot of pros are doing it right now. Does he rally them all to a SCV? That's cute. Just huddling around, that'll keep you warm. Um, but you see a lot of pro players do this. Delay the um, Engineering Bay. And instead focus on getting out, you know, a good chunk of army. Don't mind this. Stim and combat shield started right away. So he's going to have a lot of those upgrades. Got to get all those things rallied appropriately. And this should be a good enough army to maybe even go for a push out here pretty soon. Which is a beautiful thing to do against a Protoss player. Particularly if you think you can get him flustered. The Mothership Core can throw down the Photon Overcharge. But you can just poke, let it cast, and then back away. Because right now the Protoss player is really... He's got all these workers queued up to try and catch up. 
so he's not even worried about getting an army down straight into the colossus tech and this is so standard right now like the most standard protoss opening the double nexus single gateway essentially right into colossus there's no units nothing i mean losing the reaper cost him the scout but when you're in this kind of position going out with even this much army like this is a lot of army this is this is more than a lot of terran players you'll see at the pro level move out with he's probably waiting for a stimic combat shield so i would say he should move out now yes he is good keep up with building them workers he's down by 14 right now obviously the tons of chrono boost from that protoss player helps him out not getting supply blocked i like to see that always keeping up on those supply depots and units are rallied to the front. I like this a lot as well. Rally to one of your units. A trick that I get people to do as well, rally it to the back of your army. Because that means that at least your reinforcements are going to catch up. And there's nothing here to fight. There's not even another Colossus on the way. The three gateways are only halfway done. There's three on the map right now. But the Stalkers will just get rolled. Stim, Combat Shields. Yeah, just fight this stuff. Like, really. He might go for the Nexus. I would just say run into the main, personally. Good control. I think he is going to go for the Nexus, actually. He should be able to get it. Sometimes it's nice to get the workers, uh, but when you know you've got this kind of an opportunity, scans the main. Just sit and fight. They're pro, but they don't fight that good. In this position, he's going after the pylons, but in my mind, I always prefer to kill more probes. I mean, you know you can always get further ahead if you kill more probes. Whereas the pylon, even if he got both, all he would have done is delayed a little bit of tech. So, he probably could have killed all those probes if he focused on it. Army is retreating back home, but now behind this, starport is on the way. Plus one has started. Saturation of workers, still a little bit low, but he's still making them. So he's doing alright. And the third command center. Nice polished build. Great attack. Did some good damage. Killed a nexus. Killed another... About another eight workers or so. Like I said, he probably could have got a few more, but that's not too bad. If you manage to snipe the Robo Bay, that'd have been awesome. Very tough for the Protoss to be able to afford all those once again. Forges and what the shit? Triple. F uh. See now, this I don't even get the point of. Even if he had the money, even if he had the money to make three Colossus at a time, which once again they cost I think 200 gas a pop. Yeah. Even if you had 600 gas just waiting around when those popped, you would not be able to afford that anymore. Same with double forges. I see this out of a lot of Protoss players, whether they're high or low level, is that they, once they get out of their comfort zone, they're like, hey, I need to tech up, I need to get this advantage. But he can't afford all this stuff. Double upgrades going, what are these guys going to do? I gotta hope that this was a mistake by him to make those, because that's 200, 100, I believe, is the cost for one of those. Ah, come back. Yeah, 200, 100. I mean, that's almost another two Colossus that you can get, afford to get, whereas he can't really afford that right now. Mothership Core is out. The next part of the army is here with Metavax. Plus one, one is about to finish up. Fantastic attack timing here. One, one from the Protoss is a long ways off. And we even have another command center finished up. More barracks on the way up to those five racks. Five racks? Four racks. I can fit one more racks in there. Usually you see all five racks at the point of this saturation. It's still making workers. I'm so proud of you, Dipstick. Scan sees the double cloths in the mothership core. Are those cannon? Yes, they are. Just fight what you can. You don't even have to attack the cloths. It's just open. Now, this is actually a pretty good little wall for the Protoss player. It's kind of going to work. He does pick up, uh, which I didn't think he intended to. Oh no, he's a little drop in the main. Very nice multitasking there. I think that was one of the bigger problems that Dipstick used to have was being able to multitask like that. Unfortunately, this army down here is going to get cleaned up. The stuff in the main, 1-1, one, one, is going to crush through this thing. Stalkers are going to go down. Economies and shatters. And production still going on behind this. A little bit queued up. Once again, this is why you need a bit more racks out. I mean, this it's smarter to do this than to not have any production, but if you're queuing up that much, you know, it's a little bit bad. At this position, I would say pick up your units and run away. 
The medevacs are too expensive to throw away, so we will save those. And then, yeah, just expand behind this. Cancel. If you get into this position, you come back home and you're all queued up. Because you can see that on your hotkey, right? Cancel, hit the escape key a bunch of times. Then you get the economy another command center. Still more SCVs as well, up to 66. That's probably the best economy I've almost ever seen him on. And he's going to be in a fantastic spot. 2-2 two, two on the way. And maybe even start with some Viking production, a second starport. I mean, that's all he's going to be working on right now is Colossus and cannons, apparently. Well, at least he's focusing on his... Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a Twilight Council, so he's going to get the shields. You know, why not? Um, this is generally... this That was kind of a GG point, but uh, it's a Protoss. He's got cannons and Colossus. That's all you need. I'm kind of surprised the Dark Shrine didn't go down, but I guess he didn't have the Twilight Council yet. A little bit of idle workers there. One of those things you can pay attention to when you're just checking out the tabs. Make sure all those are going. Keeping, oh, no, yeah, I was about to say he's keeping it out of the supply depots, but a bit supply blocked at the moment. Actually, in the armor upgrades as well. Very nice to have for the Vikings and Medivacs. Just drop in the main. Like, honestly, if you see this at the front, you're Terran. Just, yeah, pick up and go around. Still, still blown away that Dipstick plays without any hotkeys. Drop. Don't get bottled up. I like how these these micro are colossus. A uh, little bit of a move command there, sorry, attack command. I lose a couple units. But still, I mean, now I'm just nitpicking. I mean, he's won this game like 10 minutes ago. Just leave that gloss alone. Two Marauders will take it out. That's the great thing, is if you run into. I think he doesn't even GG out. I mean, that was just a really good game out of dip Dipstick. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Particularly the economy. Look, still making SCVs behind this. Maybe a little bit too much. Is that, what, 86? Maybe a little bit too much, but sometimes you just get into that habit. You just always keep hitting the hotkeys, keep building the units. I don't mind that too much. Spending is a little bit high, but he's working on his army. So, great game. I like that a lot. Seiko Starcraft, Platinum League. Talk to you later.